this car is really quite small. Yep. This gentleman is really not quite small. Is really not quite small. How tall are you? Six foot seven. Right. Taller than Bosi. Yeah, yeah, two inches taller than me. There are not many people that I have to look up to, but Steve is indeed one of them. So I think what we would all like to see now is you folding yourself into little Luigi. There's an art to this. You have to get one leg in first. And it works fine. <laughs> <laughs> no catch. Driver safety. If we die, we die like real men in a tiny car. Yeah, <laughs> in very close proximity. I'm glad I had a shower this morning. Nothing. The steering is very, very nice. I want a car with character. This is just, it, it's the experience, and I love it. And it's everything I'd hoped it would be, and it is. You would definitely get a lot of sex in this car. <laughs> not in it, but. <laughs> not, not in it. <laughs> YouTube videos with oh. you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. And this is the chap that I've come to see. This is my old friend Steve, and that is Steve's hat. Magnificent hat. So, welcome to my little fleet. Uh, it's a few missing at the moment. Uh, the missus is out with hers, and there's one in the garage. It's Every fleet has always got one in the garage. And speaking of the garage. Da, da, da. And that is Luigi. And that is the chap that we're going to be concentrating on today. Is it a he? It's gender neutral. Is that the woke thing to say? Oh, not another one. <laughs> no. Not another um, one. Um, no, she she <laughs> is non-binary. And I have a nightmare trying to remember to call them them and not him or it or objectify them in some way. Now this is Luigi. I've wanted one of these for as long as I can remember. It was always going to be called Luigi. Um, a Fiat 500 is the very first car I ever remember being in. It's a three-year-old. There'd be about five or six of us were thrown into the back seat, driven across the village to the nursery school. And every time I've seen one since then, the hairs in the back of my neck have stood up and I've been determined to buy one. And finally, I've bought one and I'm so happy with it. Now, I completely understand that because one of these cars in exactly the same color was my mother's first car. So I also have a bit of history. And speaking of history, um, well, tell us about the history of this little chap. Um, it's been mine now for bought it between Christmas and New Year, I've only just picked it up last week uh, after being away for a few days. Um, so this is a 1965 Fiat 500F. 
It's got 30,000 original kilometres from new. It was registered Lovely. in Catania in Sicily and spent most of its life used once a week to go to church and supermarket and then parked up in a garage. Really? When the old uh, when when the chap died who 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 owned it, he passed it to his son who used it again occasionally. Um, it was restored about 2012-ish. We've worked out. Um, How long has it been in the UK? Only came in last summer. Right. So that's why it's still on the Italian plates. It has got UK registration. I've got the plates up there, but I'm also going to get a private plate put on it at some point. So. Uh, I'm keeping the Italian plates on for show for now. Yeah. They can stick in the window when, <laughs> when we're taken out. Um, so yeah, it was brought over here in the summer. It's gone through the IVA. Um, I've cleaned it up, tidied it, and I love it. I absolutely love it. As you can see, will I? That's the 650cc engine out of the Fiat 126. Ah, this has been swapped into it at some point, which is a very common a upgrade very, uh, modification <laughs> upgrade. Yeah, it, it it raises it from eighteen horsepower to about twenty four. <laughs> 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 the racing version. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. red. Red ones are faster. Hence the Cinquecento GTI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six fifty. It, it, it's. Um, an experience. So what do you know about the inside of these, Jason? What do I know? Yeah. Um, well, let's find out, shall we? Well, first and foremost, we can obviously see that it is a left hooker. Yep. Um, all of the dials are in Italian. Yep. I love the fact that it's from Sicily because that's almost in Malta. Almost. Yeah. Almost. And you can... Now, <clears throat> what do I know about the interior? If I remember correctly, then, am I okay to sit? Yeah, if you, <laughs> if you can squeeze in. If I remember correctly, there will be two little levers down here. Two little levers. Two little levers down there. And if I remember correctly, one is the choke. Correct. And one is the starter. That's correct, yes. Oh, ho, ho. Now, slightly further back, there's a third lever which you might struggle to see behind your elbow. Ah, now I don't remember that lever and I have no idea what it's for. Okay. Shall I guess? Yes. Um, right, it's not choke, it's not starter, it's not handbrake. What else could it be? Um, nitrous oxide? Close. <laughs> no idea. That's your heating control. Well, bugger me, is it? Yeah, so the heat comes from the engine. Yeah. In a little tube. Oh, fuck. <laughs> in, a little, yeah. in a little tube underneath here. Yeah. And if we look under the dashboard, ah. we will see the ventilation pipes that come up. I that see. then go on to the demist just for the window. Right. This, I suspect, is not so original. Correct. That was in the car when I bought it. But jolly useful nonetheless. Yeah, useful for charging. And the speedometer goes up to 120. So that's terminal velocity when it falls out of a plane. <laughs> yes. Um, and then we've got, uh, we've got the uh, ignition there, and then we've got a series of three completely unmarked <laughs> mystery rocker switches just Correct. below what I think is an um, Astro. Correct. Because yeah. Italian. Yep. Um, so, right, so what we're going to have here, we're going to have, I imagine, windscreen wipers. That's the windscreen wipers. Yeah. Uh, that is the lights, headlamps, side lights. Okay. And I think this one. I think. Because <laughs> I've not driven it at night. I think that turns on the lights for your Speedo. Ah, uh, okay. And then, and then presumably these, and presumably the two lamps we've got there are indicator telltales. Correct. And then on the wheel itself, we've got two uh, Dubry Firkins here, one of which will be indicators. Correct. Uh, the shorter one, I think, is the indicator, and the longer one, I think, is the uh, the headlamp main beam. 
Ah, okay. And so then the horn that doesn't work, I need to. The horn <coughs> doesn't work. It doesn't work. Now, there is, if you'll forgive the expression, an elephant in the room here. <laughs> so let's address that. This car is really quite small. Yeah. This gentleman. Is really not quite small. Is really not quite small. How tall are you? Six foot seven. Right. Taller than Boaty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> two inches taller than me. There are not many people that I have to look up to, but Steve is indeed one of them. So I think what we would all like to see now is you folding yourself into little Luigi. There's an art to this. I have to get one leg in first. <clears throat> And it works fine. <laughs> can you actually get in there with the, with the roof closed? I can. It, it, it is a little bit tight, not going to lie. Um, I can put the seat back, so I can actually get a bit of a gangster lean going on to drive it. Um, but that's not the point. The point is that I just wanted this car for such a long time. <laughs> whether I fit in it or not, whether I look like this or not, Look at this car, <laughs> isn't it beautiful? It certainly is. And before the day is out, my lovelies, six foot seven Steve here, and six foot five of me, I'm going to be squidged in there. Yeah. We are going to try to actually drive this vehicle. Not a problem. That can only go well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How gorgeous is that then? How absolutely gorgeous is that? And I remember actually talking to you about these cars over a decade ago. Possibly so I longer. know how long you've wanted one of these. Yeah, so when I lived in Stoke and we used to talk on the, uh, the old eBay power washers board, this was always something that I always wanted and now I've got one. And, and look at it. I always thought it would be ridiculous, and indeed it is, but in a rather wonderful kind of way. This actually screen wash bottle is like a colostomy bag, and it works by a little full pump under the uh, under the steering column. Fabulous. Uh, still got the original jack in there as well. I mean, the size of the jack compared to the car, it's huge. I mean, why do you need a jack that size for a car this big that you can just pick up? <laughs> <laughs> a little tiny brake fluid reservoir. Uh, original wires. Well, little tiny brakes. Uh, drum brakes all round, which is... Um, Interesting. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> need quite a bit of forward planning to brake. <laughs> <laughs> You know, written notice is good. Yeah. Ideal. But, you know, it, it's a 1965 car. It's, that's the way it is. And I love it for it. It's characteristic. It's certainly that. <laughs> right. It's the moment of truth. Two very large men are about to get into and attempt to drive a very small car. This will be fine. Here we go. Seatbelts. This is absolutely ridiculous. No airbags, no driver safety. If we die, we die like real men in a tiny car. Yeah, <laughs> in very close proximity. I'm glad I had a shower this morning. So I've got no sense of smell. We have, um, we have no seatbelts. <laughs> no airbags. No nothing. <laughs> oh my God, we're moving. Brakes are actually getting a little bit better than I'm uh, being used more. Ah! <laughs> I'm actually terrified. 
terrified. I'm genuinely terrified. It's fine. an excellent, confident and... It's not quiet, <laughs> is it? It's not quiet, no. God, and you lot were complaining about the noise in wet leg. Whoops. Yep, no synchro mesh. No synchro on any? No. are certifiably insane. Yes. There is absolutely no support to be had from these seats. No. You haven't got the seat belt. You're effectively sitting on a an orange crate in a Dodham car. It's a beautiful day. Not the warmest, but certainly clear. Dry. Do you know something this has got that a lot of modern cars don't? Uh, what's that? Cruise control. Seriously, there's a lever under there, you pull that, it locks the throttle the cable in position. As if driving this isn't quite scary enough, you can just lock the throttle in position. <laughs> I've not tried that yet. Well, it does go. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It's a little runabout car. That's exactly what it is. It's designed for little tight Italian streets and mountain hills and things like that. And that's what it does. It's never going to set any world records, but look at it. Look how cute it is. It is the cutest thing ever. I'm going to go for the shady downshift. There we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Not quite matched that road speed yet. <laughs> Let's go the forgotten art of double dick clutching, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I've long since forgotten that. Too bad. It's not. I'm going to show you something interesting when we pull up as well, something that very few people notice about the Fiat 500. And uh, its suspension setup. Yep, it's in there somewhere. Oh, that was a good one. That was pretty That good. was a good yeah. one. Turns a few heads, this little trap. People look at this than what look at the TVR. I can believe that. Yeah, everybody we've gone past has looked and <laughs> smiled. This is a car that brings not just a smile to your face, but a, a smile to whoever happens to see it. There are people living in that pothole. Yeah. It's, uh... It does, doesn't it? Everybody just turns and smiles. Yeah. It's it probably adds to the spectacle that... <laughs> <laughs> Two very Oops. large blokes in it. Yeah. Let's do a bit of off-roading to turn this around. Standard four-speed H-pattern? Yep. And a reverse thing. Reverse and fourth quite close together? Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
no power steering, but it really doesn't need it. So let's park up here and uh, you can have a go. Oh God. <laughs> 12 inch white walls. The, the tyres that are picked it up on were the originals from 1965, they were a, a bit crispy. Were they really? Yeah. Blimey. Um, it doesn't need an MOT, so they've never been checked. Right. Um, so, yeah, it was just driving around on 50 year old tyres. Um, now, are you sure that you want to let me loose in this? Yeah. <laughs> He's a brave man. Or stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's not mutually exclusive. <laughs> We have safely arrived somewhere where um, this is cross pool. 
I'm reliably informed we can get lunch. I've taken full advantage of the in-car kebab holder. I was just going to put my seatbelt on then. Seatbelt? Where we're going, we don't need seatbelts. <laughs> Watch this, <laughs> famous last words. The really remarkable thing about this, oh here we go, here we go. Oh, that's the first gear, John. Race weasels, profits. Racing chains, 90 degree right. It's exhilarating and it's actually it's a perfectly capable little car isn't it I mean what? I think more people should try one of these and just realize just how practical it is well I wouldn't go that I wouldn't go that far okay. well uh, yeah I mean okay well relative yeah yeah for time you would think it was completely impractical and it's not it's it's perfectly usable <laughs> And my God, does it bring a smile to your face? That's what it's about, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, cars have just been commoditized. The people buy cars like they buy a washing machine, which is without passion. You know, will it tick the boxes? Will it do the right thing? I want a car with character. I mean, I love going out in the TBR. You don't know if you want to come back on a flatbed or an ambulance. <laughs> and this, it's just, it, it, it's the experience, and I love it. And it's everything I'd hoped it would be, and it is. And I'm glad, you know, just going out today with you, the, the joy it's brought you. It genuinely has. The, the joy that you can see it brings other people. Yeah. I mean, the, today's been the first day that I've really been out and noticed what other people do around it and yeah. how they act around it. And they certainly act around that, around Range Rovers and BMWs. It's. You would definitely get a lot of sex in this car. <laughs> not in it, but... <laughs> not, not in it, but thanks to it. Yeah. Right, it's well, lovely. thank you so much for for sharing this uh, this passion with, with me and with yes. us. And thank you for sharing such a fabulous experience. And uh, I'm sure it won't be the last time. Well, there's something else in there that you need to... There is indeed. With. Coming soon. <laughs> We play with this. Whoa! Steve has just very kindly given given me this as a little uh, aid memoir for my uh, my first experience with Luigi here. Isn't that fabulous?
Hognut would have you hanged, drawn and quartered for that. <laughs>